Good morning, brethren. Today is October the 5th, 2017. There's a couple of things that I have to go over with you on um, some of the things that the Lord has shown me here in the last uh, couple of days. Uh, please pardon me. I'm still under the weather, and so I sound sort of funny, but uh, uh, please just bear with me. I want to start by giving all praise and glory to Father God, our Savior, Yahushua HaMashiach, and the Holy Spirit for wisdom and knowledge. Today's topic is about Pope Francis. Pope Francis is considered to be the vicar of Christ on earth, <clears throat> which he continues heavily on his campaign for peace and love, all in the name of the New World Order and all in the name of the One World Religion. As the vicar of Christ, he should know that the only way to the Father is through our Savior, Yahushua HaMashiach, not through unification the unification of Buddha, Allah, etc. A clear approach, mind you, in the attempt to change laws. What is lawlessness? Lawlessness is the utter disregard for the law. Three days ago, I was shown the eye that sits up top the dollar bill. I received understanding it symbolized the Antichrist rising, being capstoned. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for those words, because I just received those. The head or cornerstone demonstrated on the dollar bill. Then two days ago, the Lord granted me a short but vivid dream. He showed me Pope Francis transforming. His eyes turned jet black. This is not the first time that the Lord has shown me this transformation in Pope Francis. Often you'll hear Pope Francis plead for prayers, <clears throat> excuse me, for himself. Question is why he should be praying for us. So why is he asking for prayers constantly? Okay, this isn't just a... Uh, you know, once in a while. This is constantly when he goes to greet people, he asks them to pray for him. Well, I'm going to show you why. One of the reasons is obviously he's very aware of the prophecy. However, in Lord of the World, which is a book, is a 1907 dystopian science fiction novel by Monsignor Robert Hugh Benson that centers upon the reign of the Antichrist and the end of the world. It has been called prophetic by Pope Benedict the 16th and Pope Francis. In fact, Pope Francis has publicly recommended the book multiple times to his followers. The Lord has shown me a vision of the Pope, which I have previously shared. This is a while back. And when I received this vision, mind you, I was given it a year past. Then I was told to speak it. The Lord had granted me the written words at that time in this vision referring to the Pope as the Pope was wearing his uh, uh, pontifical hat, okay, and he was facing a crowd. And um, he had his hand up. He had his uh, left hand up. And in this, and I'm just going by my notes, so um, he, the exact words that I received was, he is hailing Agartha. I had no idea what Agartha was at that time. Okay, it only, it's only been here after the Lord instructed me to read the book of Enoch and, um, you know, study the Antarctica and all of that, that I received that information, that confirmation. Okay, now Agartha, as many of you know, is located in Antarctica, which happens to be the very place where the imprisoned fallen angels are kept until the day of judgment, clearly outlined in the book of Enoch. In the Lord's perfect timing, as I said, unbeknownst to me, at that time when I received the vision, I had to look because, again, it was a year from the time that I had received that vision when I was told, um, I was instructed to speak it. And lo and behold, Pope Francis, I found out, was indeed in Antarctica that very month when the Lord had granted me that vision. So I think uh, we're going to see a lot unfold in prophecy. A lot of uh, prophecy is coming to fruition right before our eyes. And it's just important that we stay, um, you know, we stay strong. And for watchmen, uh, maid servants, hand servants on the wall, it's really important. Don't worry. Um, and this is just encouragement. Don't worry about what others are receiving you seek the Lord with all of your heart. And if the Lord has put it upon you to say something and speak something boldly, then it is between you and the Lord to speak that, to, for you to confirm it with the Lord before speaking it. But my whole thing is, is 
if you are given a word to speak, don't please the crowd. Please the Lord. He is your salvation. He is your Savior. I love you guys, and again, I apologize for being sick on here, but I have to do this as, as quickly as possible when I can do it, to, when my grandbaby's not around. So I love you. Please stay encouraged, and please know that we are almost going home. It is sooner than anybody could possibly imagine, and I just I just feel it in my spirit. We know that we're in the season, so please stay encouraged, and please just stay in the Word. That's what the Lord tells us. Stay in the Word. Don't fall off. Keep staying in the Word. Seek Him daily. I love you. God bless you.